Me not wearing lip balm is equivalent to me going out naked. It's like my eyebrows aren't part of my face. I, I can't use sunscreen, so till then I'm just gonna burn, baby, burn. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Joyce and I'm here with another video for you guys. So guys, sorry I did not upload last weekend. I was really busy. I had a speaking appointment for my church, so I was, you know, preparing for that. I wonder if this t-shirt is okay. It's just like a random big old t-shirt that I have, but oh well, we'll just go into this video regardless. So I'm gonna be doing a video titled like the most random facts about me. I try to come up with facts that I haven't, you know, said like in a Q&A and things like that. Just really, really random. So yeah, I don't know how many there are, but it's just a few. It's just a short video. So let's get into the video now. <laughs> I hate getting dressed up probably why I don't like going out I'm like a leggings and a big t-shirt kind of girl like jeans and a t-shirt kind of girl you know keeping it simple I think that also ties into the fact that I do not like getting my hair done I mean I love wigs and I admire them on people and I do have a couple of like nice wigs but the minute anything hair like touches my neck including my own hair I cringe so no that's why I consider myself to be a braid person because you know you could keep it in for a while and you know take care of it make sure your scalp is clean and things like that you can wash it but you don't have to get your hair done often so that's why I you know I'm a braid person I am five feet two inches yes so technically I am not short I'm between you know short and average because the average height for women is five feet four inches so you can't say i'm short instead you could just say um shoverage yeah shoverage short and average ha dry joke okay next do not let my body size fool you. I love food. I love to eat. I am a foodie. Food and I are like five and six. Might as well eat a snack. But then, you know, I wear braces and before, while I'm eating and before I continue talking, I'm going to have to like look at my teeth to make sure nothing is stuck in my teeth. Braces life, disadvantage of having braces. You always have to be conscious when you eat, especially when you eat outside. And there is a little ant. There is a little ant on my camera, but I will let you leave as long as you don't get on the lens. I have never really had a lot of friends. Like I used to think that I did have a lot of friends, but then I really don't. I would say I have a lot of people that I know, like acquaintances and stuff. But like friends, friends? Yeah, I know. Took me a while to realize that, but but I am appreciative of the you know really good friends that I do have. I love being on my own, like staying home alone, just being on my own. It's just something I've always loved since I was in undergrad. Yes. So my parents and I were talking about December plans, and they were like, "Would you like to travel?" Which is something I should be excited about. But my inner self is like, "But if you don't travel, you would have the house to yourself." <laughs> no offense to Esne, my sis, if you're watching this, you know I would love to see you, but then I can't help my thought process. I'm like, do I want to be at home alone for, you know, a couple of weeks or travel? Home alone, travel, house to myself, travel. I just love being on my own. <laughs> I am a very awkward, like extremely awkward, like... I do not know how to blend in. I usually stand out in the most awkward way, like the most awkward way possible. That is how I stand out. Like everybody can see and feel my awkwardness. I am just a very awkward person, especially when I'm in a crowd where I just don't blend in. You know, there's some people that they may not really be with that crowd, but they try to blend in. I don't know how to. That's how bad my awkwardness is. So you might as well just call me Joyce the Awkward because I'm awkward. I'm scared to like, you know how them girls, you know, be 
doing your eyebrows and getting it in nice shapes and threading it and carving it. I don't know the term for this, but I'm really scared to, you know, do that to my eyebrows. Because I'm like, what if the hair grows back and it grows back in like a prickly form underneath or like it's not in the normal hair like texture that it's supposed to be in, like it's natural state. So I'm like really scared to do that because then I wouldn't be able to just get up and go because I like my eyebrows are really not part of my like get ready routine even if I do my makeup I don't even look at my eyebrows like I genuinely do not take a look at my eyebrows I'm just like okay do my face put on lipstick or lip gloss and I go like when I go out when I'm already out is when I remember does my eyebrow look normal at least like just brush it in, in so it's all you know it looks normal but then I, sometimes i don't even remember it's like my eyebrows aren't part of my face so that is why i wouldn't just like do anything to them so that it just remains in its natural state i guess so i am allergic to something in sunscreen so no sunscreen for me till i figure out another solution or just stay out of the sun or you know always use umbrellas because you know the uv um, rays from the sun especially like afternoon hot sun is not good for you of course you need the morning sun because it gives you vitamin d but yeah i, I can't use sunscreen so till then i'm just gonna burn baby burn Or just stay out of the sun. That brings me to my next fact. I don't like the sun. I don't like being out in the sun. I'm that person that would always use an umbrella in the sun. I'm that person that would use an umbrella to go to the backyard to spread clothes on the line or to like put my towel in the sun to dry because I really do not like the sun. And then like the other day, just on Saturday, my parents, I know, my parents, they dragged me out into the sun and I'm not... I'm not exaggerating, they literally dragged me out into the sun and then locked the doors. So they left me out there for like, you know, 10-15 minutes because you're like, you need some sun. I get it guys, get the morning sun, vitamin D is good for you and that is something I'm working on. But I feel it's just because I'm home because when I'm in school, I always walk to my department and then like, and that's like the morning sun. Sometimes I do use an umbrella if it's like really harsh, but try to get some sun, especially during this quarantine. Because I'm talking to you, I'm also talking to myself, because trust me, I need that morning sun, I need that vitamin D, guys. How do people go out without lip gloss or lip balm, or at least with moisturized lips? Except your lips are naturally moisturized. I don't get how people would go out without having some sort of lip balm or lip moisturizer on because me not wearing lip balm is equivalent to me going out naked yes it is what it is so i hope you guys enjoyed like the most random facts about me i just decided to do it as a fun video i hope you enjoyed it and it's just a quick video for you guys because i missed you know uploading last weekend so just a quick video for you guys so thank you once again to everybody who watches my video and i will see you in the next one okay bye guys